everyone. In this video I'm going to be showing you this next variation of the 50-50 granny square. So this is the one that is still a 50-50 but we swap every few rounds and so you get this um, really nice solid then traditional then solid and it's going to look really nice as it is worked up. So this is obviously just my sample piece from last time so that I could show you when I was doing the little 50-50 reveal video. But you can use any yarn and any hook that you like for this. You can make small squares, you can make big squares, but it will look really nice in whatever you decide to do. This would also even look really good as a, a smaller baby blanket if done using something like a Shapies Whirl. That would obviously look really nice as well. But make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Instagram if you're able to. And at this point I just wanted to say as well that in the playlist, which I will leave a link to in the description box, that playlist is called the Pick and Mix Granny Square Playlist. And every single one of the squares that will be listed in that playlist now and also over the coming weeks, they all will have the exact same stitch count. And so what that means is you will be able to make up a blanket um, consisting of numerous different designed squares but all of the ones in that playlist all have the exact same stitch count so you'll be able to mix and match any of those squares together to make a really unique and interesting blanket but I just wanted you to know that they were all the same stitch count and can be used all together but yeah I'll leave a link for that in the description box. So I'm just using some leftover cotton for this. So we want to start with our slip knot and then I will zoom in a little bit. Okay, so as always, we're going to start with our chain of four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch to make a circle. So yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So we're going to start this very first round just as a normal granny square. So we're going to chain two and that chain two counts as our first treble crochet. So please remember that I'm working in UK terms here. So in the US, this is your double crochet. So whenever you hear treble, which is what you'll hear all the way through this tutorial, then just remember it's your double. So that counts as our first one. So then we want two more trebles because all of our granny clusters are clusters of three trebles. So yarn over, back into that centre circle, yarn over and pull up. I'm only going to do this first set slowly with you. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that's your treble. So one more, yarn over, insert back into that centre circle, yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is your first set of trebles. So that is your first granny cluster. We're going to create a corner now by chaining two. And then back into that center ring, you're going to do another granny cluster. So another three trebles. Like I say, if you're a real beginner and aren't familiar with the treble stitches, then I would recommend just going and learning those and then coming back to this tutorial. It's two. And three. So again, that's our next cluster. So we're going to chain two to create the corner. And we're going to repeat that again now. So three trebles. One. two, three, and one final time we're going to chain two to create that corner. And then obviously we have got our one side left to do. So we'll do our three more trebles. One, two, and three. But at this point you need to make sure that you create your fourth and final corner, so chain two. 
and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two from the beginning of the round. So insert that hook through the stitch and slip stitch, so yarn over and pull through both. So that is the very start of your square. We're now going to chain one and we're going to turn our work around and then you're going to slip stitch back into that corner space. So insert your hook and slip stitch. So we're working up now from this corner. You're going to chain two again and that is going to count as our first treble and this is where we're going to start working the 50-50 pattern. So the first half of this corner we are going to create now and then we're going to finish off the other half of the corner when we get back round. So the first half of this corner is going to be a normal granny cluster. So we've got the chain two which counts as our first treble. So we want two more trebles back in that corner space. That's one and two. We're now going to chain one. Um, try and keep your chain ones quite nice and loose otherwise your work may start to bunch up a little. So do your chain one. We're going to jump across this granny cluster and work straight into this next chain space. So we're going to create a corner. So we're going to do a granny cluster. So three trebles, two, three. Create the corner space by doing your chain two and then back into that same corner space that you've just worked these into, you're going to do your next granny cluster. So three trebles again. And three. Again, you're going to chain one and you're going to jump across this granny cluster and work into this next chain space. But this corner is going to be different from the last because we're going to have a split corner. So you're going to do your three trebles for your normal granny. Two. And three. You'll chain two as normal. But now because we are halfway around our granny square as you can see, we need to swap now to the solid granny stitch. So the solid granny stitch we will only be doing two trebles in the corners followed by the chain two and two trebles. So it's different from the traditional granny. So you're gonna have two corners that are going to have one of each of those stitches in. So we're going to do two trebles back into this same corner space. And two. And now we're going to put one treble into the top of each of these trebles from the last row. You're going to be working in the hole of the stitch. So you're going to yarn over go through the whole of that stitch, making sure you've got that V on the top and do your treble. So you've got three trebles here to work into. Two. And three. And then we're at the corner space, so we're going to do a completely solid corner. So we're going to do two trebles. One. and two, chain two, and two trebles, one, and two. We're going to work along this final side now by doing one treble into the top of each of those trebles from the previous row. So one, and this third one can be a little bit tricky but you can see we've got a nice space there to work into so that is your final one and then we need to finish off this corner space so we've already got half of it here with this normal granny cluster so we want to finish it on the solid by doing two trebles so one and two you're going to chain two to finish off the corner and then slip stitch into the top of that chain two. I'm just going to bring back this example piece. So it is completely up to you how many rounds you want to do before you swap and change but I'm personally going to do three rounds 
and then change around but you could do just one you could do two you could do 15 it doesn't really matter but I'm just going to keep it the same as this one purely for the sake of the tutorial so I've done my first two rounds there now so I'm going to do one final round in that pattern and then I'm going to switch it around so we've slip stitched so now again chain one and turn and slip stitch back into that corner space chain two and now because we've turned we're actually working back along the row that we've literally just completed so we're working back along that solid edge so because it's a solid edge we only want one more treble here because that chain two counts as our first one and then you've got this group of trebles to work into so you'll have seven trebles there to work into so work a treble into the top of each of those one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then again, you're at your corner space, so you want to do your solid corner, so two trebles, chain two, and two trebles back in that corner space again, one and two, and again now you'll have your seven trebles, so work into the top of each of those, Seven. So now we are at the split corner, so you're going to do a solid start, so two trebles, chain two, but now we're working back to the traditional grannies, so you need to do your granny cluster, so you need to do your three trebles back in that chain space, one, two and three, chain one, skip across to this first chain space here and do your granny cluster, so three trebles, one, two and three, chain one, again keep those chain ones relatively loose and then you're going to work your traditional granny corner, so granny cluster one, two, three, chain two and back in that same space you'll put the other half of your corner so you three trebles again. Chain one, jump to your next chain space along that side chain one and then we're back to pretty much where we started from we've completed half that corner so we just want to do the other half which is your granny cluster Two. Three. So finish with your chain two and slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain. Okay so that's my three rounds and now I want to swap over so that my granny traditional grannies are going to sit on top of my solid and my solids are going to sit on top of my traditional. So again chain one and turn and slip stitch back into that corner chain two and so this is the traditional granny side so this is now going to become our solid so we're going to do one more treble in that corner space and then we're going to do one treble into the top of every treble and one treble into the chain one space so work one treble into the top of these three stitches 
So one, two, and three. And then you're going to do a treble in that chain one space. And then a treble into the top of the next three trebles. And a treble in the chain one. And then we're nearly at our corner now, so you'll do a treble into these final three stitches. And we're at our corner. So again, we're doing a solid corner. So two trebles, one and two, chain two and two trebles back in that same corner one and two and you're going to work now down this next side in the exact same way as the last one so one treble into the top of each treble and a treble in the chain one space so if you want to complete that but just make sure that you do the treble in that chain one space otherwise your stitch count is going to be all over the place So I've completed all of those trebles now and now I'm up to my corner. So again we're going to do the solid, so we're going to do two trebles. But now we are switching, so chain two. And obviously we are approaching our solid side from the previous row, so now we're going to switch to the traditional. So we need to start the other half of this corner with a normal granny cluster, so three trebles. One, two, three, chain one, and we're going to skip three trebles. So make sure you count this very first one. So one, two, three, and you're going to do a granny cluster into the fourth. So into the whole of the top of that stitch. You'll do your three trebles, so all in that same stitch. Two, three, chain one, skip three trebles, so skip one, two, three, and in the fourth you'll do your three trebles. So one, two, three chain one and then you should be skipping those final three trebles and working your traditional granny corner so granny cluster chain two granny cluster so chain two and that final granny cluster chain one and then again you're going to skip three and cluster in the fourth. So one, two, three, cluster. Chain one, skip three, and three, chain one, and then you should be back at your starting point pretty much you should be able to skip three final trebles and then do that final granny cluster in that corner space so two three chain two and slip stitch to close at the top of that beginning chain two so that now is how you should be looking now that we have switched around. Okay, so now we are going to complete it in the same way as before. Because we're going to do two more rounds where it's all the same. 
So like we did at the beginning, you're going to do two more rounds now where you will have the same thing. So you'll have your solid sides on top of one another and your granny sides, traditional grannies on top of one another again. And you will do two more rows of that if that's what you're intending to do. And then if you want to meet me one final time, I'll just show you how to swap between the two designs one final time. I've now created two more rounds in that same stitch. So obviously I've got three more rows now of the solid and three rows of the traditional and I'm ready to swap over again to mix it up. So I've done my chain one and turned and slip stitched and then we will do the chain two and we're swapping from traditional to solid so you'll do your one treble and then you will do your treble into the top of each of the trebles two and three and then the treble into the chain one space so you'll work those solid sides around these next two sides remembering to do your solid corner in this one so your two trebles chain two two trebles and I will meet you back one final time when we'll switch back to the traditional granny so I've worked my last trebles into the top of those trebles and I'm at the corner now where it needs to be split so it will be your two trebles. Chain two. And now we are going to work along this side, the solid side. And we're going to start with your traditional granny cluster in that chain space. Chain one skip the top of three trebles so you're going to skip one two three and granny cluster into the fourth chain one and skip three again and then cluster and then when you get to this corner here you're going to obviously do your traditional granny corner so your granny cluster chain two granny cluster and work that all the way back around and hopefully now that is enough of the pattern explained for you so that you can pause rewind do whatever you need to do in able to create and complete a blanket made up of multiple little squares or of big ones whatever you like but as I said at the beginning do remember that all of the squares that are in the pick and mix granny square playlist all have the same stitch count so you can swap and mix them up all in the same blanket and they would all work really nicely together but that is it for this 50 50 variation i really hope that you've enjoyed it and i look forward to sharing the next variation with you very soon but thanks as always for watching and bye bye for now